Did you know that Legra exercise makes your brain smart? So let's get to it. Today we are going to dance robot dance. You can have a look what I'm going to do. Yes, you can do it. And we stop front times four. Two, three, four. And you opposite your arms. One, two, three. And then you turn, you shift your body side while you're facing on the screen. And then later you face in front, side. And then you bend, you come back, you shift your body front, and you're facing front, then that is the end of our robot. Yeah? Can we try to do it quick? Yeah? Let's try. Five, four, here we go. Perfect! Good! Wow, that was amazing! So remember to exercise every day. Makerspace, a special place where students make projects. Do you want a tour? Absolutely. Wow, that's an interesting robot. What does it do? This is Voyer. It's a voice command robotic arm. You can tell it to do anything and it'll do it for you. This is Innocent. She's in the team which created this project. Hello everyone, call me Amal Innocent and this is a boy. It's a French word which means voice. This robot functions with the voice. It's an app which you get from the phone and then you give your instructions to the phone. Then the robot performs the instructions. All right, let's try it. Yeah, you can try it. What do I have to say? You have to give the command like for example, if you want it to go back, tell it back. If you want it to go forward, tell it front. Up? No, it won't work because that's not a command given to it. Raise. There we go. Whoa. Lower. So what is this one about? This is a flexi glove. It helps in the rehabilitation of stroke patients. And this is Mercy. She has been working on this project for the past one month, and they have just come up with the first prototype. And uh, I think you can try it on. So this is the exoskeleton. The stroke patient is going to wear this. Since for them, they can't move their hands, they need something for them to move their hands. And then this. Are flex sensors, as you can see. These ones are the ones which are programmed, and they are programmed in such a way that they can control this. My hands are okay, but her hands are not fine. So if I move these flex sensors, they're able to bend and go back to their original position. So if I bend this, her hands are also supposed to bend. If we keep doing this for some good time, she's going to be able to regain her mobility again. That's actually the biggest robot we have here. Thank God you have noticed. Come and I introduce you to Terra. All right. Hello. Hi. So this is Terra, and this is Joshua and Victor. They're the ones who have been working on Terra. It can do movements in a lot of positions from the robotic arm, as you can see. And then given these two chain wheels, it can move forward and backward, and then it can turn in any direction. Give it right or left. Then take a look at this hand. It can grab something or catch something, then drop it down. We also used uh, a couple of uh, materials that can locally be sourced. Uh, for example, uh, we used uh, wood, plywood, 
and uh, we used uh, some bits of uh, acrylic. There's some plastic called acrylic, as you can see the, the grip. Uh, the bicycle parts, if you can see the wheels, they're made of chains and then uh, gears from uh, uh, the printer parts. You can see it has the storage containers. Uh, in case you know it's picking multiple packages, it can pick. And then uh, the arm turns will be powering it. The arm turns and then it drops in one of the packages. We have learned so much today. We have seen some robots and also discovered that robots are machines built by human beings to perform different tasks. Thank you so much, Cinderella, for taking us through your beautiful makerspace. You're welcome and thank you very much for visiting. Hope you had fun and learned a lot. Bye. Bye. It's time for a brain booster. Describe what a robot is to a younger sibling. A robot is... You probably used your own words to describe it, but we usually say that a robot is a machine built by human beings to perform different tasks. Which of the following is not true? Robots can perform surgeries. Robots can think by themselves. Robots can look like humans. Statement B is not true. Robots can think by themselves. They can only be told by humans what to think. People who teach robots how to think are called programmers. What are mechanics, electronics, and software? Names of different types of robots. Groups of robot parts. Languages that robots speak. The answer is B. Mechanics, electronics, and software are the three groups of robot parts.